Yes, guys, welcome back to another trip to thrift. I've got all these lovely bits of vintage here. I'm going to show some clips of me finding all this lot, and then we'll come back here and go through everything I found. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and my Depop down there at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Finds, Arch on S, F on S. And also give the wholesale Instagram a follow, Messina Henry Wholesale. I work there. Message us on the Instagram if you're interested in buying secondhand clothing in bulk. Also, just a quick one before we get into it. Thanks for watching the videos because they're getting better and better every week in terms of performance. So hopefully next year I'm gonna just push it as hard as I can. Especially reels, Instagram reels are like overpowered at the moment. Keep watching, tell your mates about me and enjoy the video. Peace. Cool, oh, thank you very much. Might need it today. <laughs> How much are these ones? Um, I'm doing them for two fifty each. They're brand new. The sizing's all off. Do you know what I mean? So it's uh, like, like kids. It's hard to work out. You need the child to stick the child up to it, sort of thing. Or yeah. <laughs> when I have the nicer, they're a bit nicer, friendly size.
to get on the switch here. Yeah. What? What, what These ones. <laughs> What's the Canterbury bits? Are they shorts? Or jackets? And we are back. We're going to start with the bricks of the video. It's a load of dead stock Tottenham vintage polos made by Pony. So that will be, I think, mid 90s, I think. I can't quite remember. They haven't got the tags. They're just still in the plastic. I've seen loads of people going to this exact spot and buying these and loads of other bits. It's in like a big gazebo. I think I know four other sellers who have been to the same place. I bought seven of them for £30. So that'll be around £4.20, something like that per piece. I think there's a load of them on classic football shirts for like 20, 30 pound, but realistically you just have to get some good photos and just sit on them because they're not going to fly out the door. But hopefully I should get like 12 to 15 pound per piece. I can't see them flying out because there's always a reason why stuff is still dead stock. I grabbed four of them in this color in good sizes and three of them in this color in good sizes as well. Then we've got a pair of shorts, just some standard North Face ones. Good size, good color, good condition. Those are like a pound, should be 15 to 20 pound on Depop in the summertime. These might be Probably one of my favourite finds of the video. They are vintage Abercrombie & Fitch, wide leg, technical, early 2000s cargoes. They've got the contrast stitching, side pockets, big pull tab. There's the tag. I think it's early 2000s, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but these were like £1, which is super sick. I was watching the eBay seller go through this big pile. I could tell these were going to be good just by sort of like the details, the colours of them. Um, he obviously left them even though they were Abercrombie. You would have thought like an eBay seller would have thought there'd be a bit of value in it. But... He left them and I bought them for a pound. In terms of price, I'm going to say like 40, 45 pound I'll get on these. You have to get some good photos of them, but they should sell really easily for that sort of money. And finally, we've got the last two items of the non-hanging up bits. I bought these two items for 20 pound from like a proper sort of Essex mum. She had these like Miss 60 flared jeans with like these poppies sort of painted on. Oh, they're not poppies. Oh, they're, they're the, there's the poppies. Yeah, I knew there were some poppies, but they're like Miss 60 flare jeans. I wanted a fiver for these. I should be able to sell these for 30 to 40 pound on Depop, just because they're quite different with the hand sort of painting on them. This is the other item that I got from her, these Christian Dior shades. Again, very Y2K, super sick. There's a little bit of scratching on one of the lenses. There it is, there. Uh, but yeah, they're all real and they're just very in fashion at the moment. I'll put any sort of listings or sold listings that I can find there on the side of the screen but there should be some good money on them. Now we're getting to some of the hung up bits. First, we've got this Benetton rugby shirt with a big spell out. It's a modern one, not one of the nice 80s ones. But that was five pounds, should be 15 to 25 pound on Depop. England rugby top, super battered, quite yellowed, but I got it in a big bundle when it cost me like a pound or 50p. I'll just give it a good soak and a nice wash and that should be 15 to 20 pound on Depop. O2000, sort of like techie Reebok zip up track jacket. I think it cinches in at the bottom. It's got like a nice design there on the back. That should be 20, 25 pound on Depop. Then we've got a barber. I absolutely love barbers at the moment. I'm just obsessed with them. This one was from a house clearance person. They wanted, I think they wanted 15 or 20 pound. And then I showed them sort of the condition because it's got a big rip in the back there. And I got it for a fiver. So yeah, quite a chuff for that. I'm probably gonna wear it myself as just like a work and destroy sort of barber. And I actually found two barbers this weekend at two separate car boots, which you should see in, I think two videos time, you'll see me find them. Just a basic Dickies zip up quilted jacket. Just got a bit of embroidery there. It's like a tartan sort of design. With the quilted hood, that was five pounds, should be 25 to 35 pounds on Depop. Little band tee, Judas Priest from 2008. That was a pound, there's a little hole there, but that should be 
15 to 20 pounds on Depop all day long. This is a cool one that I might keep for myself. I just need to try it on. It's a vintage Timberland long sleeve t-shirt. It's not Timberland weather gear, but it's just an old sort of early 2000s, late 90s tag. That was a pound, should be 15 to 20 pounds on Depop. Here's something I don't usually buy just because there's so much of it about. It's a Columbia, what's it called? Columbia West Ridge jacket. It's a vintage piece. It was two or three pounds. I usually just don't buy stuff which you can find super easily at a wholesaler. And Columbia is basically at every single wholesaler in the UK. Then we got another rugby top. I can't seem to do a single YouTube video without finding a nice rugby top. So this is like obviously a nice England one on the old Cotton Traders tag. That was a pound. Just needs a little wash. That should be 20, 25 pounds when the Six Nations is on or when the rugby season starts, which it has. Early 2000s, no fear, zip up fleece. This is super bobbled. Yeah, you can see it in the camera. I don't think you'd be able to debobble it, but that was three pound. It's just got the embroidery there and it's got a big bit of embroidery on the back, which is the main reason why I bought it. I'll just have to sell it as it is. Maybe get 15 to 20 pound, maybe 25 pound on it. Then we've got a vintage t-shirt that I'm not too sure what it is. It says it's Fit for Life DP. I thought it was Dance Planet when I saw it because I just saw a single stitch and then saw DP. I think it's to do with bodybuilding, that's my guess, but if anyone knows what that is meant to be or what it's about, comment down below. It hasn't got a tag, unfortunately. The tag's completely faded, but it's just got that small logo there on the front and then obviously the big one on the back. Then we got another one of these sort of workwear jackets. I found so many of these this season. Probably, this is probably like my fourth one, I think. It's actually from Romford. The brand is called Herringale, I'm gonna say. You can't really read that writing very easily. That was five or maybe eight pounds, I can't quite remember. Should hopefully get 30 to 40 pounds for that online. Then we've got a nice basic, just an early 2000s night golf polo. Super basic on the front, and then it's just got a nice sort of low key swoosh on the arm. That was a pound, should be 15 to 20 pounds on Depop. Then we've got a little band tee haul. I think I paid five pounds each maybe on these. First, we've got the Cliff Richard from 1996. Just the big print on the front on the classic European vintage t shirt tag. Hopefully, you can see it in the light. It's a bit faded. I'm really bad with my band tee pricing, so I'll put any sold listings or any listings that I can find there. Then we got, I think it's Uriah Heap, I think. Is it dated? I think, I'm guessing it's early 2000s. Look at the tag, it's on that jerseys. It's just got that graphic on the front, nothing on the back. And then finally we have this YES, or do people call it YES or they call it YES? I feel like YES sounds a bit better than just calling your band YES. It's a European tour t-shirt from 2001. Just got a small bit of print there on the front. All the locations on the back there. Then we've got a nice football track jacket. This is actually in like perfect condition. That's the only reason why I paid up on it. I paid £15 for it. So yeah, quite expensive for a car boot. Might be more of an eBay item just because the size is quite big. It's just a really nice, in really good condition, Man City track jacket. And finally, we have the last items of the video. I bought them all together in a bundle. They were the first items that I bought at the Sunday car boot and I paid a pound each. First, we've got this 90s Burberry's shirt. There's the tag. It's like a Novacek, but like a pretty horrible green Novacek. Just a small embroidered logo there. Then we've got a bootleg YSL shirt. Even though it's a bootleg, I just bought it because I can sell it at a pop-up for like eight to 10 pounds and just make someone happy. And it's a really nice shirt still. In like a nice sort of forest green with the embroidered YSL logo on the chest there. Then we've got a real YSL shirt, just the navy on navy embroidered logo somewhere. There it is on the pocket. Unfortunately, it is a short sleeve, so we've sort of missed the summer with it, but. I'll get it online as soon as possible and probably just take a little bit cheaper on it. Then we got the last two items, which are the best ones of the bundle. Fully embroidered, heavy YSL knit jumper, super thick. There's a tag, just so people can tell that is bootleg. A good thing to look out for when you're trying to sort of authenticate a lot of things is the tags. If the size and like the main tag are different colors or different materials, most of the time they are fake. I think that's sort of, I think you can sort of apply that to a lot of things. I'm probably going to put that on Depop because I'll just list it as bootleg and someone will be really chuffed with that because it's a really nice jumper. And you don't see too much YSL in this sort of style with this sort of heavy, sort of thick knit. And finally, we've got another YSL item. This one is real. I think this is 90s with that tag there with the blue sort of outer. I actually found another t-shirt in this sort of style, just a different pattern and colour. I'll put it there. This one's a lot more wearable and sort of a nicer pattern and colour, I'd say. Probably a little bit too big for me. It's an XL, but it's just got that nice embroidered YSL. Can you see it? There it is, I think, on camera. Super chuffed for that. And I might try it on myself. It's probably gonna to be too big. But... So that is it for this video, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. Follow my Instagram and my Depop down there at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's finds, I find S, F find S. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see all the stuff that I find. 
before it comes onto YouTube. Follow the wholesale Instagram, we've seen Henry Wholesale down there at the bottom of the screen. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe again. Peace.